What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the electrics. This is actually something I thought of doing a few hours ago. <laughs> so it's currently Super Bowl Sunday and we already filmed a Super Bowl video, but that video was like a few days ago. We wanted to do something on Super Bowl because we, we were gonna be watching the Super Bowl and I came up with the Sunday snack feast, if that's what I'm gonna be calling this. I don't know, but it sounded cool to me at the time, so whatever, we're rolling with this. So if you guys like these videos, you guys gotta let me know down in the comments below. We're gonna be making up quite a few things for, for Super Bowl. We're just gonna be watching the game, but we wanted to show you guys, you know, how we do Super Bowl. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd, I thought I'd do this. So I went to the store and I got like a veggie tray, of course, because veggie. And we got some cheddar rice pop right here, and we also got some pork rinds, which I actually haven't had in a long time, and it looked tasty to me. So um, we got some cauliflower, we're gonna do those cauliflower bites, and then I got some salsa because we gotta dip our stuff in salsa. And then I actually wanted to do some wings again, so I'll be trying to air fry these. And then, I have another one too, we got, we got some champagne. And I actually wanted to do something other than just this. I got the all new Fudge Oreos, the Netter Butter Fudge Cover. Nutter butter, fudge cover, nutter butters. I guess that makes sense. So we're gonna be trying these as well. These absolutely look, they look amazing. So we're gonna have a little snack feast for you guys. I guess it's the snack fest, snack feast, but I wanna make the food right now. Alrighty guys, so while our food is cooking, we wanted to figure out, what, we, what do we want to start with first, babe? Well, let's start with the Oreos, please. You want to you wanna seriously try these yes. first? Yes. So, my love wants to break into the Oreos first while we wait for our food to cook in the Super Bowl to start. Just so you know, I'm trying to figure out, actually, I want to say, I'm going to say that the Rams are going to win. <gasps> and you love Tom Brady, so you think the Patriots are going to win. Patriots are going to win. And we got champagne to celebrate. The we have a lot wedding. of snacks. We have lots of snacks. Mm, look, it says, it says, mmm, mmm. All the 13 year old boys want you to do that one. Mmm. I actually think I've already had these before. Oh, really? We're gonna do the coin toss. We need a pause. Okay, you look at that. I'm looking at Brady. Hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've got a feeling I'm really, really gonna like this. So that is what we have right there. This is actually kind Should of amazing. Break it? Use all the that arm power. <laughs> Looks good. Ready? Cheers. Mmm. 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 Good. Mm-hmm. That is a chocolate fudge covered Oreo, for sure. That is very, very good. It tastes like an Oreo. I never buy them again. I never buy them again either. But so now I do the Nutter Butters. Uh -huh. I love Nutter Butters. So now we have the Nutter Butters right here. Now, honestly, guys, you have to comment down below what your favorite cookie or snack was in, in during your childhood. And Nutter Butters were... Nutter bad. Butters were mine too. So really? at the junior high that I went to, they had, um, that was it was like a food wagon. Like a, I don't know. But I'd that, always though. buy the Nutter Butter sticks. Absolutely love them. Oh, the, oh snap, they're flesh covered. Why am I, I'm stupid. I just, just took, I just noticed that just now. Ooh. Ready? Cheese. Reese's peanut butter cup on the outside. Woo! Babe. Oh my gosh, that's dangerously, that is dangerously delicious. Mm. Dangerously. Mmm, I love Nutter Butters. That is so tasty, so tasty. Seal of approval for me. Very good, I like these ones better than the Oreo ones. For sure. The Super Bowl's gonna start. We have. It is, they just did the coin toss. We have a lot of snacks. Lots of snacks. Oh. And then Eric bought us veggies. I showed him already. Oh. Well, you weren't paying attention. No, I was not. Nope, don't open up my cup, baby. This is what you should get on Super Bowl to not, basically these are like, you're not eating chips, but basically mm -hmm. they're chips because they have the same amount of calories in them. 
So this they is do. what you do to make make yourself feel healthy. I love them. They're cheddar. So, Patriots got the kick, or er, the Rams are kicking to the Patriots. This is a very positive thing. She doesn't even watch football or know about football. Oh, get it, get it, get it! Forty yard line. See, we are off to a really good start. Better get that champagne ready. That's all I gotta say. Yep, I'm already bored. Are you gonna do any work? Uh oh, uh oh, be careful oh. with that. What? Whenever you feed your dog. Oh, people are so annoying. We love you guys so much that we're recording this as they're playing. But Eric made us chicken wings. All right, so guys, this is my air fried chicken wings right they look here. Good. So um, I actually did Buffalo Frank's Frank's Buffalo in on one, and then I did just like a dry rub mm -hmm. on the other one. So do you want to try the Frank's one? Heck yeah. Oh, try. they're oh they're hot. Yeah, they are pretty hot. They're like you. Mm. You're such a sweet talker. I'm a little bit nervous. Which way to go? I don't either. I was just taking your lead. All right, just like go right into it. Okay. It's gonna be hot. I'm so hot. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. They're delicious though. You see, it's hot. In the meantime. He also made cauliflower. Some buffalo cauliflower. Actually, we made this in our Domino's video. Mm -hmm. So it's just buffalo sauce and a little tiny bit of breadcrumbs. Very good. These are probably my favorite. Roasted cauliflower is amazing. I like buffalo sauce too. So it's just like, it's very tasty. We need to get some Bolt House Ranch. Oh, what about we put some ranch on that? Or no, just you do you. It's just hot. Like I don't even know where to go to get. Oh, there's the meat. You didn't know where the meat was. I don't really eat wings too often. Nice save. Nice hey, save. <laughs> I don't, except for that one challenge I did like two weeks ago. A week ago. Ooh. Mm -mm. I don't think our vegan friends watch our channel. Hopefully they don't. <laughs> I hope they don't. <laughs> It's crazy how many times um, I get asked if I'm vegan. You eat probably more meat than I do. Really. And I I like... You are struggling. I'm struggling. It's just hot. Oh, Look goodness. at that bubble. That's crazy. That's a fat sack. That's a sack of fat. <laughs> oh, that's going to burn if it pops. <sighs> Man. I ever told you I was going to go to, go to culinary school? Yeah, you did. I think you still should if you want to. If only I had the time. One day. And I would fully support that. I don't reap the benefits of the good cooking. These are really good. I usually get the ranch. So oh, I've had pork rinds. Otherwise known as chicharrones. Chicharrones. It's been a long time. You were the funniest bag opener. I'm gonna give you a funny bag of bag opener. You, have you seen how you open up rice cakes? Okay? It's like a hungry that's bear's a gotten into them. That's a different them. story. There's just too much effort involved in putting a little tie around it. So why? So he just rips it open. Well, that's a valid thing. Why? They, would you they get stale. You can wrap it. You can twist it. Yeah, but baby, don't. I mean, I'd rather be that type of person. The person that leaves like a half a rice cake left. That is you. That is you. No, it's not. That, that is, is you. you. I that take after you. you. I take after you. That is totally you. Babe, you'll leave like a quarter left. Okay, anyways, guys. So we have chicharrones right here. These are amazing. Yep. Woo. I start keto tomorrow, guys. That's, I, I, was, I was just going to say, when I was doing keto, that was like my number one snack. I'm just kidding. I'm not doing keto anymore. I don't really even know if I want to cut anymore, but... I said bulk it up. More cheat meals. Hopefully that'll fix my leptin issue. Because we could do these. We just did our last cheat day. Well, not really. But we're still trying to figure out what, what we should do for our next like video. Or if you should actually Valentine's do Day. If you should do a ten thousand calorie challenge. I think you really underestimate. I don't think you do. I think it will be more of a mental thing for me than it will be a physical thing. Hands down. I love you, but I just don't think you can do it. I can do anything you can do. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, because that food challenge. At least not when did. it comes to eating. Oh, no way. Okay, that's different though. 10,000 calories in a relay, like over the day versus in one sitting, that's totally different. It is way different, but. Right, you don't have the stomach capacity. You kind of need that, babe. Are you going to make more chicken? Um, do you want more chicken? Maybe. Very good. I haven't had chicken like this in such a long time. Two hours later. All right, guys, so we got a package in the mail and we actually tried this on our Instagram. So if you guys haven't followed us, you can follow us on Instagram. Mine and hers are gonna be in the description. Um, so we got a package from Hit Dough and they actually make edible cookie dough. And so we did a little taste test already on Instagram. We wanted to show you guys our favorite flavors. Um, and if you guys want to pick up some, just check them out on IG or yeah. yeah. You guys can put them on anything. You can put them in oatmeal, you can put them in. So the cool part anything. about these is that they are um, completely natural and they're vegan and dairy free, gluten free, soy free, no preservatives. Like it's straight up like really good. Chargers are really crunchy. Yeah, they are. Goodness gracious. All right, so let's get into the cupcake. The cupcake looks delicious because it actually has sprinkles in it. So mm. those are the sprinkles in there. That looks absolutely amazing. And it's made out of really good ingredients, gluten-free, vegan, GMO-free, no dairy, no soy. Mm. That was really good. I it tastes a little like cookie it. dough. Mm -hmm. I taste like sugar, sugar cookie dough. I was like, what the hell did you just say? <laughs> and the next flavor is a brookie. I just slobbered everywhere. <laughs> Oh, I'm definitely doing an instant replay on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is the cookie. I can't stand that word combination. That brownie and cookie. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. You don't like the combination of cookie and, and brownie. On celery. Who does that? Boom. It's still good. I think the confetti cupcake tastes more like cookie dough mm -hmm. to me. I agree. Still very good. So the chocolate to me tastes like the RX bars, They're like the chocolate RX bars, because it's got very, very similar ingredients because it's got the dates, the agave, the cashew butter, and that type of stuff. And that's typically what those protein bars are made up, made out of. And that's what it tastes like to me. Have I you ever had? You. Have you ever had those bars before? Just your protein bar, yeah. In the the natural protein bars, that's what it tastes like to me. All right, oatmeal raisin. Let's do this. We both love oatmeal raisin. You're the first person I've ever met that actually enjoys oatmeal raisin I cookies. I love oatmeal raisin. Bro. Oh yeah, that's good. It's cool, guys, because all these, like, for this entire jar right here, it's 900 calories, so it's a little bit lower calorie. It's got half the calories as um, uh, two tablespoons of peanut butter. So two tablespoons of this is half the calories of two tablespoons of so peanut butter. Replacement. So, guys, yeah. check them out. I really like them. And they're local here mm -hmm. in San Diego, oh, they I are believe. In San Diego? Or they're close by. Yeah, something like that. So thank you again for sending those over. Those are, those, oh, I'm going to put that in my oatmeal. Meanwhile, Carter can one. Hmm. Man, let's get a taste even better after the Patriots win. Ta -da. Oh my gosh. There's Ta -da. olives on it though. Just on half today. I'm gonna put salsa on my side and I think it's gonna taste better. I'm gonna put ranch on my side. I approve of that. Do you wanna hold it? Ranch or it. Normally I don't like when cheese is on things, but it's actually super good. All right guys, so since we're, you know, it's almost half time right here, we wanted to try out, I actually got sent these by a subscriber and they look really, really, really Man. tasty. Man. They're ranch. Have you ever had beetles before? Yeah, of course. You guys haven't had beetles before. So that 
is what a bugle is. It's like a triangle looking. Don't laugh at my description <laughs> here. <laughs> that was a good description. Triangle looking ship thingy. Oh, no. oh my goodness gracious. Try one. Oh dang. That's fire. It's been a long time since I have had real chips. <laughs> Um, did you know that when you split chips with somebody, it has zero calories in it? Oh, you know, I actually did know that. That's why we get along so It's my secret to all the people that ask me why I'm not 800 pounds. Every meal I, we I, share. I, we I share eat outside my food challenges, we share, so that, that's we why I throw all zero calories. We right. go out to dinner, besides when we go to Taco Taco because it's just salad. But anytime we go to dinner, we we split everything. Yeah, that's why there's no calories in anything that I eat. Granted, we do buy like three plates of stuff and we split it all. <laughs> but we don't eat it all by ourselves. Yeah, we do. No, I mean like... We order three meals, but we're not eating three meals by ourselves. We share the three meals. Like how many of you guys go out and you are with your significant other and you order... A salad, you order an entree, and then you have like two side two salads. salads. Yeah, and the main thing. And an entree. So it's just doing it smart. My it's been so long since I've like gotten my own plate of food. I like it though. I like cooking. I like cooking every night. Me too. Well, I like when you cook every night. He never lets me cook. Rarely. I don't know why. It's not that my cooking is bad. I think you just really enjoy it, huh? I just like cooking, yeah. Oh uh, my cool, that's fine with me. 20 minutes later. So we ran out of snacks. We literally ate all the snacks. We ate all the snacks. And so and so we had two choices. We could either, he could either, we could either run back to the store and get more snacks. Or I said, Eric, you have boxes upon boxes of snacks that subscribers have sent you. So let's, um. Start with our first one here, people. We have a lot of a lot of snacks. Uh, so my good friend Shelby actually sent us over from Australia. So we have. So we're just cookies. gonna. We actually are already unboxing these on this channel. Yeah, we're just gonna taste test some stuff. Kit Kat. Ooh, caramel pretzel. The problem with these is that they it, got melted. It melts. So. Ooh, Tim Tams. Ooh. Ooh, we'll have to try those. Uh, then we have a cereal. Cereal. Chocolate bar. Got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Milo. Caramel Sunday. Oh my gosh, we have to try oh, this. Oh snap! One. This is like the drink mix. What's it? It's like drink mix that you can put oh, in that's the. That's cool. Huh? That's really cool. That is cool. Huh? Looks like a sporty. I don't think we're gonna try all. Of these we're not gonna try everything, but we're just gonna. The ones we're gonna we show need. you what our options are. We're gonna make. This is going over here because it's my favorite cereal. We'll, we'll get into that later. Um, how about we do this? Gooey caramel Kit Kat bar. Okay. So this looks absolutely sensational right here. It's gooey cut. Little melted. That's not one. It's supposed to be gooey. It tastes like a caramel Kit Kat bar. Or is that what that is? That's supposed to be. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I, I like it a lot. So, Next thing we want to do is the. We can't guarantee the presentation. Carmelo Sunday. Do you want to open it from this way? Yeah, probably. Let's rip open that package. Eat it. That's impossible. Probably open it like a normal human being. Like a normal human being. Ooh. Slowly but surely. Ooh. Yeah, you know, come on. Yeah, show them. All right, so this has, oh, it's got like cherries on the inside. Why don't we have cool stuff like this in America? Oh, cherries on the inside. Oh my gosh, chocolate everywhere. Oh man, we got some spillage. Major, major, major spillage of caramel. Ooh, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh. Man. Oh, good. We're gonna open it like a normal thing does. Because it's even 
situation, and it works almost every time. Oh. All melted, but there you have it. I kind of want to like. Cause it, cause it, don't eat, don't dare bite into it again. No. You'll get roasted. And you get I was just gonna say this. Whoa. This would be a really cute picture because it looks like a giant Kit Kat bar. Oh, it does. It does. Anyway. Oh, so I can't. I'm not supposed to do that. I don't know. I I just want. I just say the last time I bit into a Kit Kat bar, it was like my my comment section just roasted me for it. You're supposed to break it off like a Kit Kat bar. Hmm. I think. I can't really taste the caramel, can you? I can. Oh my gosh. What a disaster. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And now, folks, we are going to try... This is Milo cereal. It looks like... Um, like chocolate frosted flakes. Oh my goodness. They're like. They look like little. I don't even know. Right up. Those are not very sweet. I almost like it though. <gasps> Is that an M&M plate? That's not an M&M. No. Oh. Yeah, they're not sweet enough. I like a lot. Oh, really? But you don't even like bitter chocolate. Hmm. I mean, I was, I've never been a fan of chocolate cereal. Unless it's like Crave or something like that. But Crave is so overrated. No, okay, Crave is good. It is so overrated. This is my opinion. Okay. okay, let's get into the cookies. They're a little bit broken, so that's okay. Is shipping oh. stuff? Ugh, I got hair in my mouth. No, it's like a shipping okay. stuff internationally, guys. It's like the hardest thing. But these are supposed to be crunchy. Oh, they're crunchy cookies. Ooh. Looks like chips ahoy. Well, that was a that was a fire moment. Yeah, those are pretty good. Uh, what you guys should do right now is if you enjoyed the video, let us know down below. If you if you guys like Sunday snack fest or whatever you want to call it, we got a whole other box. Oh snap! We got another box. Mm -hmm. Full disclosure, guys, this has been in my apartment for well over a year now, so I don't know if it's actually one three. January 3rd, 2019, wow, we're close. We're literally, it's January 4th today. January 3rd, it's actually January, what, what Babe, day? It's February 4th. It's a month old. Oh. It's a month past ex expiration date, but I okay. bet it's still gonna be doing this. Oh, it's like, okay. Oh, it looks like Honey Bunch of Oats, right? No, it's like Frosted Flakes. You wanna try some? Mm -hmm. Those are definitely old. I don't yeah. think they're supposed to be that crunchy. <laughs> I don't think so. It's like a crunchy stale. Mm hmm But kind of good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, okay, lots of, lots of noodles. What are those? Vegan fudge paper? Oh. How long have those been sitting in there? Those have been there for probably about six months I don't think they're supposed to let's look just try it All right. what's the worst that can happen it's vegan fudge so it's a chocolate no. bar and it's vegan so this is vegan oh okay I can roll with that I can roll with that too and it's supposed to be like a protein bar sure wow you know what it tastes like to me coconut oil mmm I'm sure we'll sell dark chocolate right here. Oh, babe, these poor Pop Tarts, they're done though. Yeah. Ooh. What's the gold wrapper? What does that mean? All right. This is vegan too. Mm -hmm. That one has like no, not a whole lot of flavor. It could just be because they're old as fuck. These look interesting. 
Oh, okay. I bet you they're like gushers. I can't open this damn thing. Here. Ooh. Ooh, there is liquid on this. Do you think they're so good? Let's try it. Yeah, this still looks like a cherry. I'm skeptic. Okay. Maybe it's like gushers. Only, but I think they're natural. They look like grape. Mm. Not a fan. Not a fan of that one. Something like that. They're weird looking. Oh, they're soft. I wonder if they're going to taste like circus peanuts. Oh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Nope. Can't do it. Mm -mm. I don't I don't even want to chew that. Oh, these are um Lucy. Hold on, time out. Before these are organic peach rings. This oh, is my I've other very, very favorite candy. I've had those before. You try those, I'm trying this. These look really good. This smells like Christmas. All neutral, Ooh. all natural, gluten free. Ooh, it's like Oh a, my gosh. It's like a crunchy cookie. That was the best peach ring I've ever had. Ooh. That tastes like like fruit leather. Like that's actually like high quality. Oh, cookie, okay. And now we have the Quest cookie right here. <laughs> it truly has been a snack fest. It really has been. I have tons of wrappers on my desk for, or on my table right now. So I bought this for his Christmas stocking and he did not try it. I did not but it's time to get rid of some stuff, so here we go. I love Quest cookies. Wow. Very good, Quest. Very good. Wow. I mean, it has enough fat to be a, like an actual cookie itself. It has 11 grams of fiber, so I will be on the toilet tomorrow, but that is, <laughs> that is absolutely sensational. Okay, I think there was just like one more thing I wanted to try. We gotta try these now. There were two of them, I don't know. There were two of them? Yeah, there was this flavor. Oh, the blue one? I remember the blue ones. I can't remember what challenge I ate those in. Are they just like Rice Krispie Treats? Yeah. I have a feeling, oh, I, oh. Exactly, oh, no, I told you. No, never I mind. I told you. Nope, we're good. <laughs> so guys, if you enjoy the video, be sure to let us know down below if you guys want to see another snack fest. What a mess. We look like two unsupervised children right now. Why did you get more? I can't help it. So we we did just discover too, we have... They're vegan Reese's peanut butter cups. So this is the white cup. Mm -hmm. I can't get it. I literally just... can't, I can't open anything. I got white chocolate. You got normal? Yeah. And that is the inside right there. I'll trade you. Okay. I'll trade you now. What it's do you official. Think? I don't like vegan chocolate. It just doesn't. It, it tastes, it just doesn't taste the same. It's, it's got too much coconut oil. Yeah, that's true. Let me make sure, right? Let me check the ingredients. Meanwhile. Oh no, there's not, there's not, or there's not. It's sunflower and palm oil. Yeah, I just can't do it. This was amazing. We already got to this, but it's a Butterfinger. Oh, oh my God, we're vacuuming, we're, vac we're vacuuming. Uh, what am I gonna do with you? I'm gonna break a tooth on the cereal. If you guys enjoyed the video, let us know down below. Let us know if you guys want to see another Sunday snack fest. Please do, because they're really fun. Like the video. We'll see you guys next time. Send us more food. <laughs>